Hi friends, today in this video, I am going to make a simple spot welder driver timer circuit, with you can make your own powerful spot welder at home. To avoid messing up components on this prep board, I first designed the simple circuit diagram using single timer IC, and can be operated on 12 volt DC, and the output can be adjusted using this potentiometer. For easy assembly I converted this schematic circuit diagram into the PCB, and ordered the PCBs from JLC PCB, you will get high quality 5 pieces of PCBs for just $2. Then I prepared the PCB for components. So, let's place all the components into the PCB according to the circuit diagram. After completing the soldering process, I cleaned the PCB with isopropyl. And now our PCB looks nice and clean. Now bring up the circuit, triple 5 timer IC, place it into the IC base. Pre-solder these two pads. Take small pieces of wires, and solder with these pads. Use a 5mm to 12mm push button for using as trigger switch. Solder these two wires with push button. Use alligator clip wires, connect with this DC input terminal connector. I used this 100 watt bulb for testing and sipplated one wire for switching. Connect sipplated wires into this connector. Before we test our circuit, let me tell you that you can also order the same PCB for this project without messing up on pref board. Just go to the video description and with this link sign up on JLC PCB website. On the home page of JLCPCB website, here you can add the gubber file I provided. After uploading, you can see the preview of the PCB. You can also change quantity and color of the PCB as per your requirements. And then save to the cart for checkout. Now back to the project, connect 12 volt DC supply to the circuit and connect bulb wires with 220 volt AC outlet. This connector will work as switch for this load. And press this button for triggering the load. Since the setting is at lowest, it turns on for about half second and turns off automatically. Using the screwdriver, rotate potentiometer clockwise to increase on timing. You can also increase on timing by replacing this capacitor with higher value. But, for spot welder we need timing in milliseconds, so we need to replace it with just same one UF capacitor. And here you can connect microwave transformer for controlling on timing, and adjust this potentiometer for different timing. As you can see, I replaced it with one UF capacitor, for timing between 10 to 30 milliseconds. 
Now you can see, timing is now in 10 milliseconds, and even camera sometimes are not able to record this short blink. For spot welder, it is important to set timing in milliseconds, otherwise welding probes will short circuit. You can also increase timings, to meet with current requirements for different thickness of nickel strips. And let me tell you, 1 second is equal to 1000 milliseconds, and in this circuit, timing can be adjusted from minimum 10 milliseconds to maximum 30 milliseconds. If you don't want to use with microwave transformer, but on 12 volt battery with controlling MOSFETs, just remove this relay and this connector. Connect this resistor with controlling MOSFET gates. I removed both relay and connector, and output is now this resistor. Take a wire, and solder simply with this resistor. On pressing this button, it will send triggering current through this wire to MOSFET gates, hence turns on MOSFETs for milliseconds to make welding spot, and turns off without burning the MOSFETs itself. You can see how to use this driver with MOSFETs for spot welding, check this video, or simply check video link in description. Also I would like to let you know that, JLCPCB launched other PCB related services like, PCB layout designing which helps you in swiftly transitioning from concept production of PCBs. As a one-stop PCB solution provider, JLCPCB offers from PCB layout to PCB production, PCB assembling to components sourcing, also 3D printing and CNC machining. Just start a layout quote. And here you can upload the schematics related files. You can download the template for instructions. And select the other parameters, and submit the order. Your files will go all these steps during the production of your PCB. And you'll get delivered with high quality PCBs. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. For more useful videos, subscribe this channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.